Section 6. How do I deal with technical problems? In this section, you'll see recommendations for checking your computer before beginning online courses, how to get help when you need it, and how to solve technical problems. What do I do if I have a technical problem? If a student is having a Blackboard issue, look, that's why we have the staff. That's why we're there to cater to you. So if you're having a Blackboard issue or anything, please reach out to your faculty, your, your instructors, because they will help you. The help desk can assist with a variety of things when students call in. We can help verify with a student that they are indeed enrolled in a course, you know, if they're not seeing it right away on the first day. We can help walk a student through uploading an assignment. We can show them where they need to go when they need to reset their password if they're having some trouble signing in. A lot of the things that we can do are assisting students when they're interacting and using Blackboard. As far as not having problems, problems with Blackboard, I consider myself a medium savvy computer user. I can figure out how to solve most things on my own, but Blackboard's been pretty easy for me to use. Uh, it's very easy with the menus on the side. You click courses and click which course and it gives everything on the left hand column. Blackboard's pretty explanatory, like, you know, you have all your tabs with your classes and stuff. I would say it's easy to use, especially for most students, just because I'm, most of us were probably born when technology came around. So I think, um, I mean, we are using smartphones and stuff, so I think, I think Blackboard is pretty easy to use um, for teachers and students. Other th I mean, it's almost like Facebook for classes. There's easily n noted tabs. It's like using any other website. If a student is having technical problems in the course, the first thing they should do is open up the line of communication with their instructor. Send them an email, make sure they let their instructor know what course they're in, what week maybe they're in, just to help give some reference to where the problem is happening. After contacting their instructor, they should give the help desk a call, because that way we can kind of peek in through the back door, see if it's something that we can assist the student with then and there, or if we need to maybe submit a support ticket to our ITS department if it's a technical issue that we can't solve over the phone. One of the things that we would recommend before students starting an online course is just kind of checking their equipment. You know, do, do they have a computer that's up to date? Does it have, you know, the most recent Java plugin installed? Um, are they able to successfully log into Blackboard? Um, just making sure that they're ready to go as far as a technical aspect. We do not suggest taking your classes on a tablet or on your iPhone because there can be many problems that arise with the apps. We especially do not recommend taking tests with the app uh, for a variety of reasons. You know, first and foremost, the tests don't interact well with the app, but also because we don't recommend taking tests over Wi-Fi. One of the things we suggest to students, and I know instructors will, will back me up with this, is that try to turn in your assignment as early as possible. A lot of them are due by, say, 11.59 p.m. at night. Don't wait until 11.57, 11.58 to turn it in, because if you do have technical issues, that does open up you know, the avenue for, okay, I have to contact my instructor, then I have to contact the help desk, and uh oh now my assignment is late. Remember, you should check your computer before beginning. Look to see if you have the most recent browser and Java versions. Also, check to see if you can log in to Blackboard. You can always call the help desk when you have a technical problem. And remember, it is not recommended to take an online course with your tablet or smartphone. Mindset tip. We all have technical issues. Um, and you know, for the online student, that can be particularly problematic. Um, a student with a growth mindset um, who is faced with a technical problem is much more likely to sort of try many things and see what works and to learn from that. The student with the fixed mindset may say, computers aren't my thing. You know, I'm not really sure what's happened here. If you have a growth mindset, that's the student who is, when faced with a menu of options, is going to click on every option, see what they do, find out, learn, see what works and see what doesn't work, um, try things out, and then ask for help.